Now, there are a lot of reasons why you should consider getting a Doberman. A Doberman is one of the most popular and best dog breeds on the planet for a reason. The Doberman is one of my favourite breeds on the planet for a reason, but that doesn't mean that they're perfect and well suited for everybody. Welcome back to my Doberman show and in today's video I'm going to give you maybe a little bit of tough love, some harsh reality that the Doberman might not be the right dog breed for you. So I'm going to hand you over to one of my breed history experts who's going to break down some of those reasons for you right now. Number one, they need to work. Most people who see working dogs in family homes folded up on the rug or gently kissing the heads of a family's young don't realise what it takes to get them to that point. Working dogs need to work if they are going to live in a home, and particularly dogs like Doberman Pinchers who are still first and foremost service dogs who haven't fully made the transition to traditional family pet like the Labrador Retriever has done in the last few decades. They are stable and obedient dogs of course, so rarely pose a risk to human safety, but they are nevertheless imbued with the drive that makes their need for work and exertion of energy absolutely fundamental. Like the greyhound whose blood runs in their veins, they are stellar athletes in the outside world who can switch off nicely inside the home, but the latter does not come without the former. If you can't give your Dobie at least an hour of vigorous exercise coupled with enrichment through brain challenging play and obedience training, then you're not in a position to have a working dog, and especially not one who ripples with muscle and has confrontation deep in its DNA. You may wish to opt for the slightly slightly lower energy cousin of the Doberman, the Rottweiler, if you aren't an extremely active person. Number two, they are confident to the point of challenging. Doberman pinchers were bred to protect and assist tax collectors of the 19th century, and then later required to use their iron will to accompany soldiers into combat or the police into perilous situations. So it stands to reason that they are one of the most confident, unflappable dog breeds in the world. This isn't a fault, they had to be to do their job well. Indeed, even in the show ring, any undue hesitation or feelfulness is penalised by discerning judges of the breed. This confidence, when it comes to owning a dog like this, can come with negative consequences, namely defiance. Doberman dogs are highly obedient on the whole and are famed for it. But if they have made a decision, even if you disagree with it, there is a strong chance that they will stick to it, letting instinct and deep-rooted purpose supersede their leader's direction just for a moment. If you lack the physical capacity to react in situations like this, and the unquestionable authority to lead your dog with love in all situations as a high-level leader, then a Doberman is too much for you. A less driven dog may be a wiser choice. And number three, they aren't without health issues. Whilst they look the part, lean, strong, serene, and have a decent life expectancy of over 10 years, Doberman pinchers are not the healthiest of dogs, and so appearances can be deceptive. Because of breeders' attempts to pack muscle onto their frames, they are prone to the same joint worries as all larger breeds who exert themselves with vigour. Because of their purebred status, there are certain genetic conditions that have never been diluted into a larger genetic pool than those that meet the standard, meaning that they are prone to heart and neurological conditions that may be screened for but are nevertheless in the genetic milieu. Finally, because of their outrageously deep chests which contribute to the domineering front-loaded profile visually, they are highly susceptible to bloat or gastric torsion which as any dog owner knows is an absolute tragedy to behold as it is so often fatal before it gets noticed. So unless you're buying from a breeder who conducts a huge range of health tests on both breeding pairs and all puppies and you are aware of all the risk management strategies that come along with Doby ownership then opt for a healthier breed perhaps one of the smaller ones. I hope you found that video useful, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here. We make videos like this every single week to ensure that you're capable of having the perfect Doberman you've always dreamed of. So I cannot wait to see you on the next episode.